I, there's a company I work with that I found fascinating. I mean, a lot of you work with really cool groups. I work with a group out of Chicago named PCA, Packaging Corporation of America. Now, th this is their product. They make boxes. They prefer to call them containers, but it's a box. <laughs> oh, know what some of you are thinking? Some of you are thinking, uh, ah, going to do the thinking out of the box piece. See? No, never be predictable. Never, ever be predictable. If your audience knows where you're going, no. <laughs> Always be three steps ahead of them. Oh my gosh, 38th anniversary. Susie and I went to Greece, free island, airline miles, and we were on a sailboat with a Greek captain, a sailboat with a Greek captain. He looked like Theo Andros, only tan. And <laughs> it was a beautiful time. And he looked at my wife Susan and said, Susan, come grab the wheel and dance with the wind. And she went, oh. <laughs> mm, uh, yeah, that's what we do. We dance with the audience. We're at the wheel and we dance with the audience. So the box, PCA, here's the cool thing. <laughs> Some people in this room are sponsored by expensive luggage companies. <laughs> I'm sponsored by a box. Um, <laughs> PCA during the Great Recession that we all got hit on grew in market share from 7% market share to 9% market share. Okay, the numbers of people are going, hmm, wonder what 9% market share in the box world is. $2.8 billion in sales. That's a lot of boxes. Here's the cool part. Their boxes cost more than their competitors' boxes. Okay, perhaps I was a bit more enamored with that fact than you are here <laughs> at NSN Washington, D.C. Let's review. It's a box! <laughs> it doesn't sing, it doesn't dance, it doesn't have differentiation. It doesn't help you lose weight, have better sex has no Facebook friends. Nobody tweets about it except for a handful of you in the room right now. <laughs> it's a box. Can you see their national sales manager at a Marriott Ballroom in front of their team? Okay, people, uh, here's this year's model. <laughs> You're kind of familiar with her. Uh, We've had some price increases. Geez, pulp has gone up a lot. So go out there and sell a whole bunch and win a trip to Cancun. I'm not the smartest guy in the room. I'm comfortable with my own skin. But I know how to ask one question. How do you do that? How do you take a commodity in the world of commodities, a box that costs more than your competitors, and you actually take market share away from them and grow instead of go down. Well, I asked their national sales manager that question, and he said, Mark, if there was a silver bullet, all of our competitors would be doing it. We have three core values. Number one, we believe in the golden rule. It sounds so hokey, but treat people like you want to be treated. People want to do business with people who are nice. It doesn't take that much more to be nice. Number two, we over-deliver. We beat lead deadlines, we ask the right questions, we over-deliver. And number three, we are connected. As a team, as a group, we are so connected. Mark, what in the world does a box company have to do with us here at NSA? Everything. The golden rule, people want to do business with people who are nice. Be nice. What does that mean? When you're on the platform and you're sharing the platform with a fellow NSA member, throw their name out there. All for one and one for all. John and Owen are up tonight as passing zone. My gosh, they're incredibly talented. They, they do dangerous things with sharp objects and hamsters, and it's amazing. You've got to be there. <laughs> Perhaps not hamsters, but I, I, I embellished. I embellished. Hamsters always is a fun. But the... <laughs> Be nice, we're all here for each other. When you're sharing the platform, man, give them a shout for the, number two, over deliver. What's that mean? Baker's dozen, 
That means the 13th donut. <laughs> Did you write that down? <laughs> Over delivered doesn't mean doing a great presentation. We're supposed to do that. Over deliver means Vern leaving a book behind. Not leaving a book behind, giving us a free book. That's a 13th donut. What's your, what's your 13th? donut how are you over delivering number three be connected to each other in the audience so I sat in the back of the room recently for a presentation I listened to the young speaker in front of me very successful young speaker and not an NSA member and uh, he talked about being in uh, Detroit working with one of the top automotive companies in the world yesterday got to leave today at 2 30 he's flying out to work at the major Fortune 100 company, and, and I understand case studies. I understand that, but you know, I just, and maybe I'm wrong on this one, but 39 years ago, if I had sat across the table from Susan, and before we married, and said, yeah, you know, I've got, I was out with a blonde last night. I've got a date with twins tomorrow, <laughs> but uh, right now, you're pretty special. Uh, no. I don't, I don't know. No. No, I think that audience that's in front of us at that moment is the only audience in our life. And if you had to tell them, you know, it's about being fully connected. There is no circuit. When my clients say, how is the circuit? I go, I don't know because I'm just here for you. That's what we're there for. Connected. What a strong word. 